Good evening, good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, let's see here. Let's talk tonight. Let's talk tonight. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes. And we're going to get started. Wait a couple minutes and we're going to get started here on tonight. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered, there he will be in the midst. So welcome to the midweek check-in, the midweek check-up of Beyond Church, uh, known as The Talk. Tonight, we're going to talk about success. Why is it that you are not experiencing success um, what's going on? We're going to talk about that tonight. But as we do always, let's just take a moment to center ourselves in the presence of God, to remind ourselves of the truth, that we are children of God. We are heirs with God, and we are joint heirs with Christ. And that God loves us with an unconditional love, and that there's nothing that we can do, say, or be that will ever separate us from that love of God. If there's any time that we feel or anyone feels that they're not loved by God, it's just that we have not awakened to our Christ consciousness. And we thank God for being awakened to our Christ consciousness uh, to understand and know that we are loved unconditionally by God, our Father, our Creator, the Creator of heaven and earth. And we thank Him. We thank Him for the power that's resting and ruling on the inside of us. It's in the name and through the power and in the consciousness of Christ Jesus that it is so. And so it is. Amen and amen. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. And um, yes, Minister Boy is not here today, so we won't have an entertainment moment uh, tonight. But, but anywho, we thank God. For you all being here, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that um, share button. Go ahead and start a watch party. Let people know that we're on, Beyond Church is on, and we are talking about success. Uh, the the non-traditional um, study of the Bible where we bring up some topics that people may have asked us throughout the week or things that we feel that the that Spirit of God is calling for um, for someone or some people uh, throughout the week. And so this evening, we're going to talk briefly tonight about success. Uh, we're going to talk about success. And so uh, some people that are on, some people that are on, and I see you coming in, um, type in there what you think success is. What would you define success as without Googling it, without going, uh, does anybody have dictionaries anymore? Um, but what do you um, constitute or what is your definition? Excuse me, my allergy is acting crazy. What is the, your definition of success? When, you def when somebody asks you, please define success. Uh, what would you define it as? What would you define it as? I'm just going to wait a minute for you all's participation, if you will. Um, success. Let's define what success is. Let's define what success is. I used to equate, equate it to money, but barely. But lately I've come. Uh, can you read that? Yeah. Uh, I used to equate it to money, but lately I came in for a peaceful job and built peace of mind and a job slash career that gives slash allows me balance. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Uh, anybody else comment? Uh, Ashley said fulfillment. 
fulfillment, fulfillment. So all those are wonderful and great answers. Um, overcoming obstacles thrown at you that many would give up. Yeah, that many, yeah. All of these are wonderful definitions of success. And all of them are right. Um, and I like the idea that there was a difference um, in the definitions. Uh, so the, the, the dictionary defines success as the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Let me say that again. The accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Why is it that we strive for success? Some people, and go ahead and you all can answer that question. Some people, why do we strive for success? Some want success depending on how they define success. Some people define success um, as having um, the house on the hill. Some people define success as um, of, of having a whole lot of money in the bank. Some people define success as doing what it is that they wanted to do in life. Um, some people, um, not define, but strive for success. Um, go ahead. Jonathan said, a person or thing that achieves desired aims or attains prosperity. Thank you. Great um, definition. Um, and so there are many different reasons why people strive for success. They don't want to let people down. Um, they, uh, they had so much put on them. Oh, you're going to be so successful in life and you're going to go far. So you're trying to prove something to someone. You're trying to prove to them that you, you're capable, that you can do it uh, because they said that you couldn't. There are so many different um, reasons why people um, strive for for success and what they what they will do now when we look at this definition of success um, and we look at that word purpose we've, we we've talked about that uh, we've talked about that before understanding that um, that there's a that we all have purpose and we cannot transition from this life to the next until that purpose is fulfilled there's the that we have divine purpose here uh, on earth as we're living spiritual beings living in this mortal body there is a purpose that god has assigned for us to do um, and that purpose will be fulfilled before we leave this earth and so some reasons why people why i feel one of the reasons why i feel that people are not experiencing success in their lives is because they have not found out they have not figured out what it is that their what it what their purpose rather is here in on earth they haven't defined or figured out what their purpose is uh why they're here what are you what are you supposed to be doing here on earth and we've talked about before um, how do we define our purpose? What is our purpose? What's going on? And so we def we understand that we learn what our purpose here on earth is um, by, um, I believe that our purpose is um, is mixed up in or derived from um, the things that we, our talents that we have um, with the things that we enjoy doing. Uh, we, 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 we talked about making a list and understanding what that purpose is. Those things that just simply kind of come natural to you, um, though those things are a, a catalyst or are wrapped up or wrapped into what it is that your purpose is. So if you uh, enjoy singing, if you are, if you enjoy singing, um, and you are, you're great at it, and you say, you know, listen, I want to go to the great, the best um, performing art school, and I want to do this. Part that 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 is your purpose. Your purpose is to bring joy to people. Your that purpose is for you to sing. Now, some people say, "Well, how is that? Or how is that my purpose?" Because we we understand that even through music, um, that the emotions are changed. 
Yeah, things happen through music, through the singing, through the playing of instruments. And so that your purpose is wrapped up in those things that are that come natural to you. Those those gifts and those talents that come from God. And so we don't fully uh, experience success or we're not I believe that there are people that are not experiencing success. So one of the reasons is simply because they have not defined what their purpose is. Some people say, well, my purpose is to is to bring world peace. Now, if you feel that that is your purpose here on earth, then, you know, you you trying to do that. Um, and, 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 and it might nece not necessarily be world peace. Maybe it's peace within your own family. Maybe it's peace, a world peace within your own, within your own world. Because remember, we've talked about how we have the ability. God has given us the ability to create our very own world, and so we have we have to be able to um, look at those things and and define what our purpose in life is. And that's why people have life coaches. That's why um, a spiritual leader is important. Um, a mentor is important so that we're able to um, kind of help define, uh, fine tune what it is that we believe that our purpose is. And yes, as, as, as kingdom citizens, as, as, as Christians, we look to God to help uh, identify uh, what our purpose here on earth is. How do we find that out? Um, we find that out by meditating. We call it the sitting in the stillness and the silence, reading the word of God, listening and praying and having that relationship and having that dialogue with God to ask him, God, what is, what is it that, what did you place me here on earth to do? And I believe that there has been a point in each of our lives where our purpose has been talked to, uh, manifested to us, has been, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, that our purpose has been revealed, <coughs> excuse me, our purpose has been revealed to us, but sometimes we have so much outside influence that we, uh, that we miss it, or because that purpose in life does not line up for us um, to reach that state of success that we thought that our life was supposed to produce, if that makes sense. And so oftentimes, maybe our purpose is setting here right in our face, but because we're striving, thank you, Ashley, um, that we're striving for a level of success here, um, I won't even do this, but a level of success here, uh, how can I do this? Here, but our purpose is over here. Not to say one is higher or lower than the other, but we're focusing right here on what we view success as. And over here is what our purpose is and what our purpose is wrapped up in. And that brings me to my, my next point is that when we think about success, um, success oftentimes is, and anybody, you can feel free to chime in. It's an open dialogue. Um, type what you have there and we'll read it and talk about it. But um, takes me to my next point of um, when we look at success and when a lot of people define success, they define success based upon something or someone else's success. We based it upon what uh, what were they what the Joneses were doing? You ever heard, you heard the term "keeping up with the Joneses"? And so we sometimes base success on what that looks like. Just think about it. As kids, I what do you want to do? I want to be successful, so I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a doctor because success has been programmed in our mind by society as as having the big house with the white picket fence, driving the Lexus and driving the Mercedes and driving the BMW, having a job that makes six figures, uh, having um, the, the perfect spouse or the perfect partner, um, having um, the kids that are so well behaved. Success has been looked at as that. Um, working only Monday through Friday and no weekends and and those 
people have strived for those things, which is absolutely okay because we learn that the definition that to define success is um, accomplishing an aim or a purpose. And so those things are aims. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Spirit of Truth. Those things are things that we're aiming for, things that we're striving for, the car, the house, or this and that. And so then at that point, we compare it to everybody else, but we don't go look at ourselves and say, okay, those are good things to aim for. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with having money. Nothing wrong with having a house, a nice house. Nothing wrong. But the minute that you that you say that you're not successful because you are driving um, a, a Hyundai Sonata and your friend is driving a BMW is the very uh, time that you have not truly uh, effectively de defined what success is. Just because... You have, um, you don't have a single family home, and you are um, in an apartment that, and, and you say, well, "I'm not successful because I don't have this." You have to understand that those are aims. I'm, I'm going to call those. Those are things that we're aiming for, which is perfectly okay. But we cannot get ourselves wrapped up in this idea of just that success is just this meeting this one level. And if I don't, that I'm, if I don't get here, then I'm going to die trying. And believe it or not, there have been people that have died trying. Trying to reach this mark of success that has been set forth by society and they've died, literally died trying. They went broke trying. Why? Because they, they want to be rich and they've tried all of these things, all of these business ventures. They tried all of these get rich quick things. They tried all of these things and they haven't reached this level of success. But for a moment, they did not stop and say, maybe, just maybe. This is not, that wasn't success defined for me. So what am I saying? I'm saying you define what success is for you. You define what it is. Don't allow anyone else to define what success is for you. You Sometimes we often wonder how people are um, so content with, um, never owning a home because that's not success for them. You know, well, you make a great deal of money, but you're driving a car from 2006 because having a nice car is not success for them. Success for them might be uh, not having any debt whatsoever, owning everything that they have. A car, owning the car, not have, not paying anything off. Success for them might be saving up enough money to go and pay this car, pay get a new car and have and pay for it in cash. That's success for them. So I can't define what success is for you. And guess what, darling? You cannot define what success is for me. And so we figure out those aims and we figure out what our purpose is. And the thing is that we are able to accomplish, again, success to accomplish. We are able to accomplish this aim or purpose because the power of God is living on the inside of us. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 through 21 says, and, we, and maybe we've heard it all before, now unto him, him meaning God, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Get this, according to the power that work within us, and without changing the word of God, according to the power that works in you. Another reason why we are not experiencing success in our lives, because we have not activated the power of God that's resting, that's ruling, that's abiding on the inside of us. Let me, let me, let me bring it to you. 
The reason that you are not experiencing success to the level that you desire for it, the reason that you're not accomplishing your aims, the reason that you don't feel that you're accomplishing your purpose is because you, sir, you, ma'am, have not tapped into the very power of God that's working on the inside of you. What is that power? The Bible said that same power that rose Jesus from the dead is the same power that's living on the inside of you. You have that power. I have that power. What does that, what does that mean? Power uh, is, is, it represents that understanding or, or that, that, that natural uh, control over your thoughts and your feelings. Let me say that again. Power represents that natural control um, over your thoughts and your feelings. That's why the scripture says that above all that we can ask or think. So here it is. I'm asking God for something, right? And then I begin to think about it. And when we talk about that think, the Bible says, and it goes on and says, according to the power. So if power is representing the natural control over our thoughts and our feelings, that just simply means that I have control over over, over my own success? Yep. That is exactly what I'm saying. You have the power over your own success. What? And I thought you had a question. And so, why is it that I'm not experiencing success? How are you thinking? Again, power represents that natural control over your thoughts and feelings. How are you thinking? What's going on, on within you? It's perfectly fine to ask and to say, yo, God, asking God for something and putting something out there in the atmosphere. But if I put it out in the atmosphere and I'm asking for it and I'm, my mind, my thoughts, and my feelings are not lining up with what good God, spirit, soul, and body. If my thoughts are not lining up with my uh, feelings and are not lining up with the very words that I'm speaking out of my mouth, how can it all work together? The Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? And again, we go deeper in the scripture. So it's not just me specifically talking about the, a person or a human or two people, but it's also talking about our thought process against the very things that we're asking for, the things that we're saying out of our mouths. Right? So why is it that we're not experiencing success? Why aren't you experiencing success? The, uh, another reason is the fact that your thoughts are not lining up with your words. So change not only what we say, but also about what we are thinking. And when we think, thinking <clears throat> represents the seat of perception of what we see, of what we hear and what we feel. Let me say it again. It's the seat of perception of what we see, what we think, and um, see, feel, um, and hear. The perception of what we see, hear, and feel. And so uh, he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all um, that we can ask. That's what we speak out of our mouths. And think of how we are perceiving what it is that we see. So just because I don't see it does not mean that it's not, it hasn't already been done or already been manifested. It already been done in the heavens. I'm just waiting for the manifestation of it. Right? So if I have an aim to have a job, let's say, that works that's Monday through Friday. 
What am I doing to get there? What if, you know, am I um, working hard and I'm getting ahead of myself? So let me backtrack and slow down. What you perceive. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. Hope is a confident expectation. Now faith is a substance of things um, confidently expected. But the, evidence, but the evidence of things not seen. So just because I don't see it. <coughs> Thank you. Just because I don't see it. Good gracious. <coughs> Excuse me. Just because I don't see it does not mean that it's not capable, that it's not possible, right? God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask and or think according to the power of God that works within us. Why aren't you experiencing success? You're comparing yourself, your success, to other people's success. Stop it and stop it right now. Stop. Just because your mama got a master's degree does not mean that that defines success for you. Everybody looks, every, every success looks different. Get this, your success may be making $150,000, $200,000 a year, which is wonderful. But somebody else's success, making $60,000, $70,000. I know that's kind of hard, uh, challenging to wrap our mind around. But that's why it's important for us to have this relationship with God so that we're understanding, because here it is. I am about accomplishing what my purpose here on earth is. And everything, and, and, I, and my prayer for myself is that everything that I do is aligning with the very purpose of God for my life. Because here it is. You can have, your success could be, okay, I want to make... A hundred thousand dollars a year, but you never know what that will bring. There are people who are making millions of dollars that are strung out on drugs, that are messed up and caught up in tax scandals, tax problems, because because they strived for this level of success, but maybe it just wasn't what was meant for them. So again, I don't want you all to think that I'm saying that money is not good. Um, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil, not money. But I want us to be clear that my success, your success, does not look like your brother's success, your mother's success, your friend's success, the success that we see on TV. It, it, it just may not be it, right? There was a quote that I saw that said, the reason we struggle with insecurity is because we are comparing our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. I'll say that again. And I wish I knew who had, whose quote this was. And I wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. The reason we struggle with insecurity is because we are comparing our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. Don't get caught up in the Snapchat of somebody's life. Because you didn't see their cut, go body no. You didn't see their behind the scenes. Don't get wrapped up in that. And when we, when again, and it goes back to defining that success 
based upon somebody else's. And having control over our thoughts, our consciousness, our subconsciousness, our superconsciousness, having control of that is very important because when your friend gets a new car, subconsciously, we begin to think, what do I need to do to get a new car? When your friend gets a promotion, subconsciously, what, is, what do I need to do to make more money? And these things are happening subconsciously. And it could be a bad cycle. And there are people that say that, you know, oh, money doesn't bring nothing but problems and troubles. And, oh, you know, I'm just fine right here and I am just don't want, which is perfectly fine. But I believe a lot of that comes into play. And a lot and the reason why a lot of people are afraid of success is because it's been said that success looks like this. And success looks like that. And Ashley's talking about you. And so when, so I believe that's why a lot of people are afraid of success or not experiencing success because we're comparing it to everybody else. But I want to say this though, just because your success looks different than the next person's success, it does not negate the fact that we have to set you have to set goals in your life that you have to make plans that you have to work at it because again success is defined as accomplishment of an aim or a purpose I, i'm gonna talk about that some more at another time your aims and your purpose don't get your aims mixed up with your purpose. Don't get your aim mixed up with your purpose. That aim is striving for something. But if I don't get there, I'm not going to lay down and die. I hopefully, I really hope I'm making sense tonight. I just, but it's so much in me that I'm trying to navigate through. I'm aiming for a house. Wonderful. Make a plan. Work at it. And if you and if you're able to accomplish that, wonderful. That is a there's that is a, a part of your success. That's a level in your success. But if it just so happens that you don't, that was your aim. Don't allow it to kill you. And you have to understand what your purpose here in life is. If you're having trouble understanding and defining what your purpose is, message me. Let's, uh, let's discover your purpose together. But just because my success looks different than your success does not mean I'm not going to work. Does not mean I'm not going to set goals. It does not mean I'm not going to make plans. Right? Success, the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. What is success? Why do we strive for success? Understand your success looks different. My success looks different. Stop comparing your success to other people's success. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. I really would well, want to go further description. According to the power of God that work within us. I got five minutes. Get this. The Bible says here, uh, 
exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. I need somebody to get that. God is able to do above, exceedingly and abundantly above all that I think. If that does not give you a jolt to change your thought life and change the way you think or, or captivate your thoughts and subject your thoughts under the mighty hand of God, I don't know what does. As a who could God Almighty? As a man thinketh, so is he. Man, human, humanity thinketh, so is he. So it, in my success, in my striving, right, to accomplish my aim or my purpose, it's not only about what I speak out of my mouth, but what I'm thinking on. That's why we hear that the battleground is in the mind. Positive thoughts. Positive affirmations. What good does it say? What good does it do me if I'm saying that, I, you know, that a house that I want is possible? And I'm thinking in my mind, oh, I'm never going to get my credit together. You know, they're never going to prove what, are you crazy? What's going on? The very word of God says that he's a, whatever you think about. He's able to do that much more. What is it that you're aiming for? What is it that you're striving for? God is able to do it. Not only is he able to do it, he's able to do exceedingly. That means over and above. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. What I can ask or think. Why are we not experiencing success? We're not tapping into the power of God that lives on the inside of us. When we grasp that understanding that this power, that same power that rose Jesus from the dead is living in me, then I, I once we grasp that, then it, 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 it will change the way you think, it will change the way you act, change the way you talk, change the way you walk. Because I have power. It doesn't matter who the president of the United States is. They, all, they, can, they walk with power. They know that they have power. But listen, I have this power that's living on the inside of me. And you have that same power working on the inside of you. Wake it up. Tap into it. Because your, your aim and your purpose is waiting on you. Your success is waiting on you to tap into that very power of God. Listen, I'm done for the night. But that scripture is found in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 to 21. We're not experiencing success because we're comparing our success to other people. Because we have not understood what our purpose is. And the sub point to that is that we haven't defined and we haven't separated our aims and our purpose. And then point number three is because we're not utilizing the power we have not activated the power. Who oh, activate your power? We have not activated the power of God that's working on the inside of us. Now unto him that's able to do exceedingly 